What's up, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make drill beats. I've been listening to a lot of drill beats recently, so I'm gonna talk about all the common techniques that they use, and hopefully by the end of it, we come up with a nice, clean drill beat. Also, every drum sound I'm gonna to use today is gonna to be for my Capital Drum Kit Volume 3, and that's gonna be in the description. BPM is gonna be at around 140. Let's just bring it up there. For the melodies, they're actually really simple, so we're just gonna do that at the end. Right now, we're gonna focus on the drums. We're gonna be looking for a clean, short, punchy snare. Something like that is too long, so... This is a good one. Let's use this one. In a standard trap beat, we would put the snare on the three and the seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But for drill, we're gonna delete that seven. We're gonna put it on the eight instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In terms of the kick drum, I noticed that they don't have a lot going on in the middle of the phrase. It's usually one hit at the beginning and then it kind of gets busier near the end of the phrase. So something like this. It's never gonna be too busy in the middle like this. You can definitely put some variation to this. Just make sure you have that one on the downbeat and some near the end of the bar. Let's do a little triplet roll. Move velocity. We're going to move on to the hi-hats and this is very important if you wanna get that specific bounce. For the hi-hats, it's not as simple as just doing each two steps like this. It has this dotted eighth note rhythm that kinda of goes like this. So it's like a one, two, three, one, two, three. You can definitely add more to this, but you want those accents to really hit on these beats right here. So I want these velocities really high up. And then for the other ones, we're gonna just bring them down a bit. So now you can add complexity, but you still have that initial groove. Uh, I'm gonna delete these. I wanna do all the cool rolls and stuff on a different hi-hat. I'm going to actually just move the panning a bit and move the pitch so it's not too boring. That's very cool. Just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm gonna put some stereo separation. Let's get the panning all wild. Uh, let's put a flanger. I wanna put a little bit of reverb so that it just kind of distances itself from the other hi-hats. You can add perks and stuff, but the hi-hats are definitely gonna be the place where you'll get the most color. For the 808s, we're gonna do that at the very end because it's much easier if we have the melody first. Let's go on to the melody. So I noticed that they really like to use grand piano, so I'm going to pull up Keyscape. We're going to go for the standard dark melody, so just minor chords and stuff like that. So let's get a progression going. Hmm, not bad, okay. The reason I click this in is so that I can keep all these little strums in too. Just move them up slightly. Nice little melody, just needs a lot of processing. Let's get half time. I might bring this up an octave so that once we have time it, it's less muddy. I'm thinking we export that and bring it down an octave so we keep that dark energy. That sounds really cool. I wanna keep that really, really far in the background though. Just kinda of adds a little bit of grit to it. Let's go on to the 808s now that we know our chord progression. For the 808, we're looking for a long one so that we can add slide notes to it. For the 808s, it's very similar to how the kick is structured. So we want that one hitting on the downbeat and then something cool happening near the end of the phrase. So. Rest, and then something cool. We're gonna be implementing a lot of slides, but we're gonna keep this middle section empty so it's not too busy. Uh, wah, da, 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 da. I'm thinking about this really melodically. On uh, these two notes slide. Cut it like that. Yeah, so I wanna go for like an eight bar pattern and then just something really cool happening at the end of each of those. See, 
kick drum rolling kind of interferes with that, so we can just delete it there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Uh, these are slides. Uh, we can slide to that. We have a bit of room to make everything a bit darker, so let's bring it down to semitones. Maybe we add one more melody on top with the piano. That's kind of cool. Oh god, that wasp is huge. Okay, we gotta wrap this up. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, and then I want to export. What do I want to do this stupid thing? Uh, a little, probably. That's cool, let's put a delay on it. I wanna just get everything, put an RZ20, and just get some wobble in there. Really don't want a lot of high frequencies in the melody. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Arrange, arrange. Intro with just the piano, bring the drums in afterward. None of that, no kick. And then kind of just have a pause right there. Maybe a siren on the hook, maybe. I don't know what key this is in. Uh, that kind of worked. Just making fun little pauses. We can get rid of all the instruments except that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's listen to the full beat. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, my Capital Drum Kit Volume 3 is now available on my website, so make sure you guys go get that. Comment below what other genres you want me to do a video on, and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.